that Jesus loves them. Jesus cares about them. We have an obligation to do that. Amen. And until everybody has heard, we're not going to stop. Amen. All right. So I want to uh, bless and uh, send greetings to our uh, brother Jean and uh, sister Aurea, Antonio. They did let me know that they won't be here today. Uh, they're in New Hampshire. If you're watching us, please, we send our greetings and uh, we miss you. But uh, we know we'll see you again next Sunday. All right. So why don't we go into the word of the Lord quickly? Amen. Amen. God is good. Hallelujah. Today I want to talk about the power in what we say. The power in what we say. That's what I'm going to talk about today. And I believe God is going to bless us. God is going to speak to us. I mean, isn't God so awesome how he healed Sister Kazi? <laughs> Even before she went uh, to the doctor. Man, our God is a healer. I was testifying this morning. Uh, uh, the baby who was here, Moan, he hadn't been crawling the whole time. But the moment they brought him here, <laughs> he started crawling. Did you? So for some reason, I didn't hear when the dad was testifying. So when we went back home, first lady told me, oh, did you know? I was like, oh, my God. I didn't get to celebrate that miracle. But it was a big deal to the parents because when you expect your child to be doing something at a certain time and they don't do it, you, you, you get concerned. But it happened in the house of God. Amen. Our God, and I was telling my wife when I went to minister, the, the way God was moving on Monday, before touching people, God was just touching them in a powerful way and delivering. I mean, our God is doing something, amen? And that there is a move. And even today, I believe God is going to touch some people out there on the streets. They're going to come, amen? We're going to pray for them. They're going to come join us, amen? God is going to do great things. This is the season to reclaim what belongs to us, the increase that belongs to us, the power that belongs to us. The, you know, the jobs, Sister Jada, the jobs, I want you, don't go for the small ones. When you're applying, apply for the big ones. And, you know, put the resume in their face. Yes, I may be young in the body, but hey, look at this masters here. Amen. And I want you to command a big salary. Say, this is what I'm, this is what I'm taking. This is what I'm taking. I'm not taking any less than this. Amen. Because God has given us the power. And that's what I want to talk about today. The power in what we say. Did you know there is so much power in your mouth? So much power. But many times, we don't use our mouth to do or to speak life. Unfortunately, many times we use our lips, our mouth to speak negative. And that is why many of us or some of us or some people you know, there is a lot of negativity surrounding them. Because all they speak is negative. Oh, I don't know what happened to me. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think I'm going to make it through this year. I don't think my child is going to do this. I don't think this is going to happen to me. And the more you release that energy, it manifests in the physical. Amen. Can I have that other microphone? I don't know. There's something in this microphone. Amen. So we need to be careful what we say. Amen. Hallelujah. This is much better. Hallelujah. What are you using your mouth for? Amen. I want you to turn to somebody or tell them, hey, how are you using your mouth? Mm? Amen. Let's start with the Proverbs chapter 18, verse 20 to 21. Proverbs 18, 20 to 21. And I'm going to read as uh, Brother Fred finds the, uh, the verse. Sorry, I didn't give this to you earlier. The Bible says, from the fruit of his mouth, a man's belly is filled hmm? with the harvest from his lips. He is satisfied. Verse 21, life and death are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat of its fruit. Now, the Bible, I believe in the book of James, talks about the tongue being a very small component of the body. 
but it's able to set a forest on fire. Hmm? It's very, very small. But it has the ability to turn your life around or to make you sink. This tongue has so much power. And the Bible has told us that those who love it will eat its fruit. So what have you been using your tongue for? He says, the fruit of his mouth, from the fruit of his mouth, a man's belly is filled. Now you can take it to the negative. With the fruit of his mouth, a, ma a man's belly is going to be empty. So many of us, we wonder, why are these things happening to me? Why aren't things moving the way they are supposed to move? Because we don't use the God-given power God has put under our tongue. You may not be saying anything negative, but you might be doing nothing. Nothing. I'm just waiting on God to make a way. I'm just waiting on God to bring my husband. I'm just waiting for God to heal my relationship. I'm waiting for God to give me the job. I've seen people like that. Fasting 40 days and nights, praying for God to give them a job. But they haven't gone on the internet to ask, to put in an application. They haven't gone out. They don't dress nice. You want, I mean, <laughs> when you're a pastor, you hear all sorts of stories in the world. There's people who say, for me, I'm, I'm waiting for my Mr. Wright to come knocking on my door. Hey, hey, hey. Man, you're going to be waiting for a long time. <laughs> you got to put yourself out there. And you say, as I step out today, I'm going to make my hair. I'm going to put on my makeup. I'm going to put on my lipstick. I'm going to put on this expensive perfume. And I'm going to be unstoppable. When I go to this dead night, they are going to recognize me. They're going to ask, who's wearing that perfume? Hmm? You have to put into action. Hallelujah. We need to put into action. What are you using your tongue, the fruit of your lips for? You want that job. But are you making an effort to talk to the HR? Do you know it's free to go to the HR department and say, hey, I've been here for one year. I've been getting the same amount of money since I joined this position. Isn't there an increase? Is there an open position? Let me tell you something about America, for those of you who live here. If you don't say nothing, nothing is done for you. You know, <laughs> there was a man, I don't know the story, I'm not going to go so much into it. But this man, I'm sure you saw it on social media, this guy had been working at Burger King for 27 years. 27 years. Now watch this. They give him a present or a gift for working 27 years. And they give him a, a pack of, uh, I think, some gum. They give him a, a, maybe a, a keychain and some cheap stuff from the Dollar Tree. Now... I don't know why he has been there for 27 years doing what he was doing. That is not my place to judge. But one thing I like about this guy, he had the nerve to have somebody film the story. He said, this is unacceptable. How can I be here for 27 years and you give me a keychain and some Reese's and uh, you know some chewing gum? 27 years? He put it on the internet. Guess what? The world got crazy. The, uh, the, there is a group I'm in, uh, one of my mentors. She saw the thing and she, got, she ran with it. And she put up a GoFundMe page before the news caught up with it. And as last time I checked, she was on, a, I don't know if it's a Good Morning America or something. And people have, she's, he has received over a hundred and something dollars. And he was able to go see his grandkids for the first time, I think in 10 years. Please don't, uh, you can go check, uh, you can fact check the story. But in other words, I'm saying the power. If he hadn't done something and he, 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 he lifted up, oh, they've given me a keychain. They've given me some chewing gum. And he was using his mouth. His deliverance came with him speaking out. 
Amen. Just a few Sundays ago, we talked about June 10th. The black people in this country would still be slaves if they didn't speak out. They would still be in bondage. We would still be having segregation today if Martin Luther King didn't say, enough is enough. What, what is her name? Rosa Parks. If she, if, she, if, she, if she allowed for these guys to bully her out of the seat on the bus, she said, no, I'm not leaving this seat on the bus. Because back in the day, there was an aisle for the coloreds or the blacks and for the whites. And she said, no. When they told her, hey, you are sitting in the wrong aisle of the bus. She said, what? I'm not moving. Not today. And then a praising rose up. And today we have mixture. We are able to go to the same bathrooms. Before, you could, when you go to, to a store, they would say, blacks only, whites only. We saw that in the movie last night. Amen. But these people spoke up. And guess what? Some of them had lost their lives. They were beaten. They were shot for speaking out. They say, no, all men are equal. The constitution says all men are equal. We all deserve the right to life and to the pursuit of happiness. Amen. If you don't say nothing, nobody's going to do anything for you. Unless if it is your mother. Even if it's your mother, if you don't say I'm hungry, <laughs> nobody's going to feed you. A closed mouth cannot be just fed like that. So God is speaking to us today, brothers and sisters, that he has put power in your mouth. Amen. Don't just sit back when the enemy is terrorizing you. Don't just sit back when you're not producing. Don't just sit back when you are still getting the same amount of money. Say, God, enough is enough. Sister Jada told us this morning, she said, many people don't want to cry out to God. Because when you cry out to God, it looks ugly. It looks desperate. Amen. But if desperation is going to bring you to a place of freedom, be desperate. That is why we come here every Friday and we call upon God. God open the doors. God bless us. God bless your people. God increase us. God take us to another level. The more you call out to God. The Bible says when you call out to him, he will answer you. And he says, those who call upon the Lord shall not be ashamed. Hallelujah. They will not be ashamed. Brothers and sisters, we serve a God who has everything that we need. But we need to speak. Did you know that even God spoke? Go to Genesis chapter 1. Go there right now. Genesis chapter now, ch chapter 1. The Bible says, in the beginning, everything was mixed up. There was confusion. Everything was all over the place until God has to, had to say something. The Bible says, and God said, let there be. Hallelujah. Is that verse 1? What does it say? Let's go to verse number 1. Hallelujah. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Verse number two. Now, listen. Now the earth was formless and void. And darkness was over the surface of the deep. Do you see? Nothing was where it was supposed to be. It was just there. It was just there. And the spirit of the Lord was hovering over the surface of the waters. Verse number three. And God said, Amen. God said something. So who are you to keep your mouth closed? I don't want my neighbor to hear what I'm praying. I don't want anybody to hear what I'm talking about. I pray in the heart. Yes, there is a time to pray in the spirit. And there is a time to open up your mouth. Amen. Jesus said, Father, Father, forgive them. For they don't know what they are doing. Father, if you could only take this cup away from me. Not your will. Not my will. But your will be done. 
Amen. In his time of agony, in his time when he needed help, he cried out to God. Because in the body, he felt the weakness. That the, the burden was too heavy. And he cried out to God. And the Bible says, God sent angels and they ministered unto him. They gave him the strength he needed to go to the, to, to the cross so that you and I would get our freedom. Hallelujah. Today, brothers and sisters, you have to open up your mouth. You have to, to, to speak because there is power when you speak. Amen. I want us to go real quick in the book of Matthew. Chapter 21. Matthew 21 verse 18. Verse 22. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you there? Amen. Matthew 21 verse 18 to 22. If you can... Uh, Okay, just leave it. Uh, there is some river. Uh, I don't know where it's coming from. But uh, uh, we'll just carry on. Amen. Are you there? It says, In the morning, as Jesus was returning to the city, he was hungry. Seeing a fig tree by the road, he went up to it, but found nothing on it except leaves. <laughs> this is Jesus. When he created the tree... He expected the tree to produce. I want, I want us to put this into perspective. God expects you to produce. God expects you to grow. God expects you to move from one level to the next. God expects you to move from where you are. You shouldn't be where you were in January. You shouldn't be where you were last year. Mm -hmm. So Jesus says something unusual. He went up to it but found nothing on it except leaves. And probably this was a time for harvest. And he says, may you never bear fruit again. The moment Jesus saw unproductivity, he said, may you never bear fruit again. He said, and immediately the tree withered. Verse number 20. When the disciples saw this, they marveled and asked, How did the fig tree wither so quickly? And Jesus says, Truly I tell you, verse 21, If you have faith and do not doubt, not only will you do what was done to the fig tree, Oh, somebody get excited about this. This is Jesus talking to you. Talking to me and you. He says, truly I tell you, Jada. Truly I tell you, Williams. Truly I tell you, Fred. If you have faith and do not doubt, not only will you do what was done to the fig tree, Listen to this. Let's read together. But even if you say to this mountain, <laughs> hallelujah, if you say to the, so which mountain? Talk to me. Which mountain? Ask me. Which mountain? Do you have a mountain? Do you want the business to grow? Which mountain? Do you want the children to listen to you? Which mountain? Do you want to have more babies? Which mountain? Do you want to get the job? Which mountain? Do you want God to give you a car? Which mountain is before you? Jesus is saying, if you say to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, it will happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you can go to the mixer to this channel, look where it says EFX, something, just turn it down, the effects. That's where I'm getting the, the feedback. Hallelujah. FX, something like FX. Or reverb, something like that, on this channel that I'm talking on. Hallelujah. Amen. If you say to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, it will happen. Somebody say, it will happen. Hallelujah. The business will grow. Hallelujah. The children will grow. The relationship will flourish. Hallelujah. You will get that house. So this year, before it ends, when I put in the offer, I'm getting the house of my dreams. It will happen. 
Hallelujah. When you say, when I finish my degree, before I finish it, I'm getting the job of my dream. Even name the company. Amen. So name the company. If you want to work for the FDA, say, I want to work with the FDA. When I finish this course, I'm working with the FDA. I'm going with this company. Because when you have faith, when you speak to the mountain, Jesus says, when you tell it, be lifted up and be thrown into the sea, it will happen. Listen, verse number 22. Listen to this. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Hallelujah. Let's read this together. 22. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Some of us, when we come to God in prayer, we're just crying. Well, it's good to cry for a minute, but after crying, I want you to ask. Amen. Say, so God, this is, what, what, this is what you promised me. You promised me the, the nations. You promised me a good life. You promised me success you promise me success you promise me that out of my belly rivers of living water shall flow where are the rivers say so god you said i shall be the head and not the tail lord you said i shall be the top and never the bottom i shall be the first and never the last god i pray for dominion whatever you ask for of god in prayer it will happen if you believe. So when you're in prayer, don't, don't be there blasting the people who hurt you. Leave them alone. Amen. Focus on yourself. The Bible says vengeance belongs to God. People hurt you. Don't say, God, kill them. God, let them fail. God, let this happen to them. No, don't pray evil prayers for them. That is for witch, witch doctors. For us, we're not witch doctors. Amen. We're just going to mind our business. In fact, Jesus says, pray for your enemies. Amen. And let God deal with the rest. God, I don't want them, I don't want, I don't wish anything good for them. Lord, how they treated me, how they starved me, how they blocked my doors. No. When you are in prayer, so Father, as I enter this new week, Lord, I speak over my life. God, I speak your favor. When I go into this meeting, may the manager listen. May the CEO listen. When I propose the new plans, may they be put into effect. God, when I bring this new stock in the store, let it run like crazy in the name of Jesus. Whoever comes into this store, let them not just get things for $15. Let them get a whole lot. Let them pay in hundreds. Lord, I speak victory over my children. I speak success. I speak speed. My children will reach their milestones on time in Jesus name whatever you ask for of God in prayer when you believe you will receive it that is what God has told us today amen and the Bible says that God is not a son of man to lie whatever he says when he sends his word he will make sure that his word accomplishes somebody said accomplishes Whatever he sent it for. Amen. So today, what are you doing? You're sitting on a landmine. There is miracles out of your mouth. There is blessings out of your mouth. There is healing out of your mouth. Sister Kazi just testified. She saw the bleeding. She said, God, this cannot happen. One year later, no, not to me. He said, by your stripes, I am healed. God, I claim healing from my stomach in Jesus' name. God, by your stripes, I am healed. My mind is healed. My heart is healed. God, I'm moving in victory. I will not fail in this country. I claim this job. Amen. I remember when my wife was taking a, a few steps to, you know, to something that she wanted. She said, honey, this year... I'm getting into this position. And when I looked, I was like, how are you going to get in this position? She said, watch. She said, I'm a tither. So she was invoking the word of God. Because the Bible says in Malachi, test me with this and see 
if I will not open the floodgates of heaven, if I'm a tither, she said, and she said, Pastor, I want you to pray. Amen. She calls me pastor too. She said, Pastor, I want you to pray. Pastor, I don't see it. Where is it? You say, you tell us every Sunday that when I give my tithe and I'm faithful, God is going to do it. Where is it? Now I'm on fire. My butt is on fire, burning. <laughs> Amen. And so I would go in my corner and say, Father, please, please do it for this woman. Because if she's not peaceful, there is no peace in this house. Amen. There's not going to be dinner in this house. Eh? It's going to be chaos because every time she comes, honey, I haven't got it yet. I was like, oh my God, please do something, Lord. But what, what was I doing? I was speaking. So God, open the door. And let me tell you how easy God did it. It wasn't even as hard as it was supposed to be. What God gave her, it was a walk in the park. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> when she came back, she said, honey, I got it. I said, how do you know you got it? I know I got it. Now I went to God, Brother Fred, and I started praying to God as well. I said, God, I feel something in the spirit. But Father, I establish it. I establish it. I establish it. So, so she gets a phone call the next day. And she puts on speaker. She put it on speaker. And the, the man, the first few seconds, he spoke. <laughs> we started celebrating. We started jumping. If there was a camera in the house, we were there hugging. We were jumping. We didn't even mind about the, 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 uh, the naughty neighbors downstairs. We were just jumping. We were praising God. We were praising God. Why? Because we use the power in our mouth. And as I speak today, like they said, the rest is history. She's now living her dream. Amen. Part of it. Because there is more. That, that was just the, the introduction. That was just the gateway. But God is taking her somewhere. Amen. So today, brothers and sisters, I don't want you to be uh, uh, comfortable where you are. Don't say, you know, I've been praying and waiting. Don't just wait. Say something. Hallelujah. Say, God, I'm making it. I'm sure, Sister Jada, you, you, you said one day, you know, I'm not going to stay here. I'm not just going to stop on, in high school. Because I, I'm sure there's some of your friends who stayed in high school. Said, this is good for me. You said, no, I'm going to get this degree. And after getting the degree, you said, no, I'm going to go further. You said it somewhere. You even took the steps. You went and applied for it. Amen. Even when you didn't want to wake up, you woke up and you read, you studied. That is what God wants. Man, I'm just amazed. I was thinking about you, Minister Williams. I was coming from the airport the other day. I was like, man, how does somebody, because he told us he's not, he hasn't been here for so long. How do you, you are a foreigner. How do you wake up uh -huh, and you go and start a business in America and you even employ Americans? Ah. <laughs> one day he said no I'm a child of God I'm not supposed to be used and abused and given a wage I'm going to create my own income and I'm going to pay other people amen so he started a shop brothers and sisters I've been there I've bought some things from there I've seen it amen not only have I seen it, I've even seen the tithe from the business. Hey, 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 you even play around. I've seen the tithe from the business. But one day, one day, I wasn't there. But you say, God, I want to create my own business. I want to create my own platform where people can walk in and experience. And today, it's in action. And guess what? Before you know it, you're going to have a location in Massachusetts. You're going to have a location in Rhode Island. You're going to have a location online. Amen. Because you speak it into existence and it happens. The Bible says, decree a thing and it shall be. It shall come to pass. Hallelujah. You can look up that scripture. Decree a thing and it shall come to pass. Hallelujah. So sister Jira, don't settle. And, and let me tell you, when you get ready, I want to see that guy. 
Because I know, I'm, I'm sure there, there are people there trying to, you know, to, to, to talk to you. I want to see them. Don't just fall for anything that comes with two legs. Amen. Because you are a child of the Most High God. He's got to be powerful. I want to I, I come and shake his hand and make sure he's, he's the one. Amen. I want to look him in the eye and make sure that he's going to treat you good. Because you are a child of God. Don't expect any, any leftovers. And you people, you know, you are a child of the Most High God. Amen. Say, so God, my husband is going to be A, B, C, D, and D. Amen. I mean, I was specific. I said, God, I want my wife when she was, she was uh, yellow and, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know. <laughs> Amen. I want a yellow one. Amen. <laughs> because I'm already black, you know. <laughs> Amen. I'm already dark skin. I wanted a yellow one. Amen. I wanted one, you know, I, I told God the features I wanted. So when I met her, I said, God, this is the one. And I started proclaiming. I asked the people who are close to her. I said, tell me about this girl. I said, her, that one? I don't think you're going to handle. I said, watch. <laughs> I said, watch me. I went to God in prayer. Hey, man, when I prayed, God started bringing the miracle closer. God opened the door and the miracle started coming close to me. And then we started uh, uh, crossing paths, crossing paths. And I will tell you how we met another time. But God made it in a way that she could not be out of my space. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you say something, when you use your mouth, you are going to create, amen, your reality. And as I speak, brothers and sisters, I have the most beautiful, uh, I won't tell you all the other things, the most beautiful, caring, she makes the best food in the land. Do you know that I don't, I don't even go to those things, Burger King, McDonald's? No. The only time I go there is when I'm traveling and I'm really starving at the airport. That is when I, I go to Burger King. I, even if you rub it in my mouth, I'm just going <laughs> to throw it away. Amen. Because my wife makes the best. But I say, God, I want the woman who, you know, who, who cooks. I want a woman who's going to take care of me, who is, you know, uh, concerned about me. And what I spoke is what God gave to me. And I was surprised. She told me, honey, did you know that you are the, the exact thing that I prayed to God for? I said, what? He said, yes. You are everything I prayed for, to, for God, to God, to, for uh, the kind of man I wanted. Amen. Amen. I said, well, praise God. It's all together now. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. So how are you going to use your mouth today? We're going to speak some things. Come on, let, let's get up on our feet. I can't believe I, I used up all the 30 minutes. Man, I was gossiping. That's why. <laughs> Amen. Let, lift up your hands to the Lord. Father, we thank you. I want you to speak some things. I want you to plant some things. Amen. What, what exactly what, Brother Fred, the car you want. I want you to speak, Father, and even give God a time. Say, Father, by this time, I want to be driving. By this time, I want to be in my house. By this time, I want to have this kind of children. By this time, I want to have this kind of job. Father, I'm praying for that six-figure job in the name of Jesus. I will not get less than that in Jesus' mighty name. Father, today, my children will be blessed. My children will grow. My children will flourish. My my business will grow. Lord, I speak it in, in advance in Jesus' mighty name. Nothing that I touch will fail. I will be a blessing in the city. I'll be a blessing in the country. I'll be a blessing when I come in. I'll be a blessing when I go out. The favor of God is upon me. The grace of God is upon me. Lord, I speak health over my mom. Lord, I speak health of God over my family. Lord, I speak over that construction site in the name of Jesus. It shall go far Fast in Jesus' name. The house will come up fast in Jesus' name. Lord, I speak finances. I speak materials in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I speak over my credit. I speak over my eligibility. Lord, I speak over my citizenship. Lord, I speak over my green card. Lord, I speak over my wife. Lord, I speak over my husband. Lord, I cover them in the name of Jesus. Lord, I speak over the children in the womb of God. Lord, they will grow. They will flourish. They will be born 
on on time in Jesus mighty name I will have my wedding it's going to be the way I dreamt it's going to be in Jesus mighty name son of the living God hallelujah thank you Jesus for when we pray everything we ask for in your name we receive it God we receive the blessing we receive the houses we receive the opportunities we receive the interviews we receive the new jobs we receive the children we receive the new members in Jesus mighty name we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit we receive healing we receive miracles signs and wonders in Jesus mighty name and everybody said amen. amen hallelujah somebody praise the lord with me clap your hands to the lord give him praise because he's worthy of all the praise hallelujah was well, somebody blessed today amen. come on let's pray the final blessing now may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may his face shine over you may the lord give you peace i love you to life let us meet here on sunday those of you are watching us online you still have time to get over here for the barbecue downstairs come join us invite somebody else let's bless the lord let's fellowship in jesus name god bless you all amen